Hello guys, so I tried to generate a feature test with AI with two different models in cursor, Claude and Gemini 2.5 Pro. After I saw this tweet by McKay Wrigley, that new Gemini model is something else. And in this video, I will show you the results of both models. What did they generate? What was the process of their thinking? and the cost. With cost, it's hard to show a specific number because I'm on cursor on free usage so far and Gemini is free for now in experimenting mode, but cursor shows the amount of tokens used and we can calculate the price based on that. And also I made a separate experiment about the cost, try to use Claude with API key and I will show you how much it cost for one question from cursor to Claude AI. So let's begin. This is the controller that I asked to build test for. Nothing really too fancy. Typical CRUD with update status on top. And also the project is not my code. I was asked to review it. I asked to generate along the way necessary factories because they were missing. Also SQLite in memory for refresh database. And also I asked cursor agent to run the tests. And if they don't pass, then fix something to make them pass. First, let's compare the result. Here's the test that was written by Claude, customer controller test with method index returns customers with correct view with customer factory created along the way. So customer factory looks like this with a lot of fields here. Then create returns correct view the method, then store creates new customer with a lot of fields and interestingly it doesn't use this post to the url because it didn't work for it i will show you that in a minute then edit returns something again customer controller edit not the correct url and then a lot of assertions so destroy in a similar fashion i asked to test controller methods well it does exactly that test controller methods and the final method for update status refresh customer after the change and assert the new status now let's see the test generated by gemini model setup admin user which claude didn't do from what i remember and then gemini successfully implemented acting as and get displays customer create page assert views assertions are pretty similar but the difference is successfully acting as admin and post, which is exactly how I would write this test, probably. Update data, acting as, assert redirect, assert sessions, in all other things, it's pretty similar. Also putting the comments where needed. And both results were actually successful, successfully passing tests. But in the way how test is written, I think Gemini did a better job. Now let's take a look at their paths. How did they think? and what went wrong and how it adapted to failures. And first let's look at the path of Gemini model. Checking if factory exists, if not, let's generate them. And I had to manually run those commands because I didn't enable the automatic mode of so-called YOLO mode in cursor. So the agent would run terminal commands for me. I'm not that brave for now. So it asked me to generate the factories, then it generated the actual content of those factories, then it changed the PHP unit XML, then it asked me to make test again, and this is where we have the first failure, it asked me to run the command with feature, but that option doesn't exist in Laravel anymore, so this is the old version, but then it corrected itself, so I've run the correct command afterwards. And I'm not sure, sometimes AI agents just generate new files, but in this case it asked me to run the command for it. Then it tried to write the test first content, but then realized for some reason that it needs to be inside of admin some folder. So I had to run another command to move it. And this is the first time where it tries to run the test. So I've run artisan test with the controller and the first error was eight failed test with the error of call to undefined method. And then it detected that customer factory exists, but there's no has factory in the model then something was missing in the database doesn't correspond to factory and then php warnings and then it tried to fix so add has factory change the factory along with migrations added test attribute from php unit and also then interesting conversation with itself it seems like the edit introduced some unrelated changes tried to change something and then it seems the previous edit was already correct despite the diff looking strange but anyway after the fixes we 
started the test again and eight failed tests again. And look at the comment, errors are different now, this is progress. And another few failures detected, expected response is not the same, failed asserting something, and then it bumped into authentication and authorization with admin customer and tried to work with admin model, creating the factory for that. Also updated the test setup method for the tests, along the way checking the routes, but then discovering that the routes are in the routes admin, and then it changes this acting as post to put to make it correct, and trying the tests again, and eight failed tests, just with different errors. So this is how agents work, and this is why the cost, the ultimate cost, may be higher. We'll get to the cost at the end of this video. Another query exception, another change in the factory, trying again, eight failed tests. Now again, table schema mismatch, another few fields to change in the factory, again, and now it finally succeeded. Now let's see the path of Claude model. I'll write a feature test and first reading controller, customer, XML, changing along the way, good. Checking the factories and generating the factory automatically, great. Creating the test and this seems to be faster, we can run the test right away, but eight failed tests. And also customer doesn't have factory and the model needs to be changed. And in this case, it's asking me to run the migrate status command, also DB table from Laravel, and then for a specific table of customers, and then it found what it needed. So I had to assist the AI assistant to make changes in the factory. Try again, four failed, four passed. It's something, several issues in our test mock the routes for testing as we're getting route parameter errors. Fix the test and this is where it kind of went sideways, trying to do route get instead of just this action as. Then fixing the factory, then playing around with URLs again and trying again and now five failed, three passed. So it made it worse and now we need a different approach. That's what the model says and now it tries to mock the controllers more effectively. And this is where it tries to mock the controller. Let's see the code. Instead of route get and all of that, we have new customer controller, exactly what I was showing in the beginning. And then it runs the tests with eight passed tests, success. So yeah, different path, similar hurdles, but different solutions. And it's not really clear which model is better. It's just one example, but in this case, the actual result is better by Gemini. But still both impressed me with how they think, how they discover the failures, rerun the tests and the overall process. That said, this way of thinking may actually cost a lot of tokens. And this is where we get to the topic of costs. And in the latest versions, cursor started to showing how many tokens were used. Unfortunately, I cannot find it right away on the previous chats in history. But as soon as I had finished the conversation with agent, it showed this below 46,000 tokens. And it doesn't specify input or output tokens, the cost is different. So that was for Claude model and for Gemini model, it was 47,000 tokens, roughly similar. And again, in my case, I'm using still free trial, free usage in cursor, which I will surpass soon and I will have to upgrade to pro. But let's say we're using the tokens directly for such conversations. We don't have cursor requests. So what would we pay to Claude or to Gemini. Gemini, as I mentioned, is free for now as an experiment, but they predict, people predict that the price will be similar to O1 or O1 Pro, which is more expensive than Claude. But generally, I found this website, Token Calculator, not sure how it's really accurate, but basically you can paste the text here and calculate the tokens and the prices. And this is exactly what I did, pasting the conversation with Claude end to end from cursor to here. And here I see 6,000 tokens, although cursor showed it was 46,000. So I'm guessing that this is the output tokens and all the rest is 40,000 input tokens. So let's see, I will zoom in the table and if we scroll down to Claude 3.7, so net, the price for such output is 10 cents. And then if we add the input tokens, which is 40,000 and the price for input tokens for 1 million is 
three dollars which makes the cost of input tokens 12 cents in total 22 cents for that operation of claude again it may be inaccurate maybe i misinterpret something but my point is to say that it will not be free it will not be a few cents it will be like tens of cents or maybe up to a dollar for one request directly to ai and actually i tried it myself so in cursor settings in the models you can provide api key from google or OpenAI, and i provided api key from anthropic from cloud creator i've paid five dollars this is the minimum to get the api key and try to repeat a similar operation with another controller and then i discovered that in the agent mode i cannot use api keys that was unfortunate but then i switched to ask model so in cursor you can choose between agent ask and manual not sure what that is they keep changing the name so this is chat this is agent which used to be composer from what i remember so basically i switched to ask which just generates the code but then you need to copy paste yourself try it out and see if it works so the result of that was also thinking also generating also updating i will not show probably the full path so this is the test code and then i can click copy on any of those files like here and then paste into the actual file but it tried also a few iterations as you can see fixing something in the test although it didn't actually run the tests and yeah it finished and says that test should now pass the result was it failed because it messed with the routes with prefixes because prefix is in a different file than the route so routes web contains route group with prefix and then the route itself is in the routes admin file so it basically was calling the wrong urls so how much did i pay for that one api call for the incorrect tests the answer is 20 dollar cents if we click the cost for one request was 20 cents roughly similar to what i calculated previously with the token calculator and how can you decrease the cost potentially is of course not asking ai to generate a lot of things at once slice it to smaller operations then it will not go back and forth and you will have bigger chance to generate something immediately correctly from the first go and also of course ai models are much better at generating code generating new fresh projects pages components or stuff like that versus analyzing existing code especially if that existing code is not to laravel standards or whatever standards of the framework you use or language so you will probably pay much more for asking cursor or asking ai to fix the existing code than to write fresh new code so yeah, what do you think about this experiment with models and what other topics would you want me to dive into related to AI and cursor with Laravel? For now, I'm planning these topics on weekends. We'll see how much I'm passionate about in a few weeks and how interesting it is to you guys. So be active in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.